Yontay, the bronze former Wilder, is set to fight Tyson Fury to reclaim his WBC championship belt. Here's four reasons on why I think he can win. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Junior Farr, professional heavyweight boxer from New Zealand. I thought that we'll dive deep into Deontay Wilder, who I've shared the rings with and done multiple rounds in sparring. I thought that we'll dive deep into reasons why I think he can win this fight. Four reasons to be precise. One, his left hand. How he wins this fight, we all know, is through that right hand. But how do you set that up? That left hand has to be working throughout this fight. Jab to the body, jab to the head, hook, hook to the body. He's going to need more opportunities to land this right and not just, you know, come out searching for it straight away. He has to give Tyson Fury something else to think about. Throw those jabs, throw those feints, throw those uppercuts. Whatever you need to do to get his mind preoccupied with this so that you have that too coming down the middle. Now, Deontay Wilder has a terrific jab, but it's a single jab. Throughout our rounds, Deontay Wilder isn't one to just fling out his jabs, so to speak. He snaps it. He has a terrific single jab. Can he use that against Tyson Fury? A single jab's enough for Tyson Fury. Maybe he needs a double. I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do with that left hand. Because guarantee he's not going to be searching for that right hand to land. He's going to be trying to set it up behind that left hand. Side note, that left hand does hurt, man. Trust me, I've been caught with it. <laughs> mm. Number two, pressure. Tyson Fury figured out that Deontay Wilder doesn't do too well going back when you're against a bigger guy. Tyson Fury took away probably Deontay Wilder's biggest asset, which was his height and his length. He uses that great against everyone else, but Tyson Fury nullified that in the second fight you saw. When you have a bigger man in front of you and he's pushing you back, it's hard to keep that long stance. So can Deontay Wilder push Tyson Fury back? I believe this plays a key role because that way he'll be leading into a knockout. What I mean by that is if you watch Deontay Wilder's fights, most knockouts, not all of them, but most of them, they all come off that one-two going forward. Deontay Wilder is not a counter puncher. You won't see him slip a shot and then throw that deadly right hand. That's not how he knocks people out. Deontay Wilder throughout this fight needs to find a way to push Tyson Fury back so that he can land that right down the middle because he's not going to land that right going backwards. How does he push him back? Same as that first point with the left hand, with the feints, with the jab to the body, jab to the head, hook, give him something else to think about. Push him back. He needs to push him back. Number three, fitness. Now I know this is kind of a no-brainer. When you're going into a fight, you have to be fit. But I really wanted to highlight this because what Deontay Wilder is showing throughout his training videos leading up to this fight is a new Deontay Wilder or perhaps Deontay Wilder with some things added on. If you haven't had enough time to practice what you're going to do in the ring, like if your body hasn't adapted to, to your new style, then it's going to be hard for the body to actually perform that in the ring. It's, it's going to class it as something new, something different, which means it's probably going to feel hard and different to the body. The heart rate's going to rise up. You could get tired easier. We don't really see Deontay Wilder playing around with his left so much, so that's a new thing. He could get exhausted from that because it is a new thing. We haven't seen Deontay Wilder use as much um, feints or too much dancing around. We, we, we haven't seen that. That could lead to him being tired. Fitness is key. Can he keep up the pressure over the 12 rounds? And number four way that he wins this fight is, of course, the knockout. With all the previous things being said, I must admit, even if he does all of this, I don't know if he wins by points. I'm really looking forward to a knockout. I, th I, I firmly believe that Tyson Fury will find an answer to all of those things that Deontay Wilder will present. If Deontay Wilder, and i got to say the best version of Deontay Wilder, if he comes in with all of these things, the left hand giving Tyson Fury something else to think about, that gives more opportunities for that right hand to land, which eventually will lead to a knockout. If Tyson Fury can avoid those, then it's going to be a long night. If Deontay Wilder can find a way to land that right hand and land it frequently, guarantee there will be a knockout. He is the hardest puncher that this world has seen. 
and that's and that is no cap and why you off to say that <laughs> he is definitely the hardest single puncher that this world has ever seen now i think we can all agree that both fighters have come into this fight announcing that there will be violence there will be blood i believe that tyson fury wants to smash his head in deontay wilder wants his belt back and wants more he's a violent man we're gonna see bad intentions we're gonna see punches thrown we are hoping gonna be seeing things that we haven't seen before from deontay wilder and saying that who wins this fight tyson fury deontay wilder deontay wilder by knockout who's gonna win let me know